Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Hollowtide, and today I want to talk about whatever is happening with Xbox and Microsoft right now. It's being reported pretty much everywhere that Xbox is shutting down multiple studios, including Arcane, Austin, Tango Gameworks, Alpha Dog Studios, Roundhouse Games, which apparently will merge with ZeniMax. And the Xbox head of studios wrote in an email to the staff that we are making these tough decisions to create capacity to increase investment in other parts of our portfolio and focus on our priority games. No idea what priority games are because I have no idea what they're doing. It just feels like they're constantly trying to push people into doing just Game Pass and just shoving microtransactions into their games. Like, I, I really, is it is it Candy Crush? Is it maybe Call of Duty? I mean, we're talking about people and studios shutting down, losing their jobs that, you know, they released Hi-Fi Rush. That game was amazing and pretty much blew every, like, standard for a game release set by Microsoft for it to be successful easily. Now, it hasn't been stated anywhere that I can find as of right now at this recording how many people have actually lost their job, but I think that it's going to be substantial and it's just i don't know what's happening like ghostwire tokyo was another game i think that that was very underrated and was really good prey like arcane austin had so many good games it just seems like we've had such a fall from grace with what xbox was in like the 360 era to now i don't know what the vision of the future of gaming is for microsoft xbox the employees the studios like why buy up all these studios if you didn't have like i don't know i can't imagine that a trillion dollar company has to cut costs by shutting down other studios i feel like again this is maybe one of those leadership things where it's just the people at the top are failing the consumers We've had so many awful days in the games industry recently with just layoffs and the shutting down of studios that, for me, I I don't even recognize the gaming ecosystem at this point. So much has changed, even with like content creation and streaming and live service games and stuff like that. Even with Helldivers, like it took so many people to come together to just get it to change so you don't have to have a psn account all because playstation probably wanted to inflate their numbers it's insane now i do think that this goes kind of back to you know a couple years ago when we were talking about microtransactions and games and you should vote with your wallet and set a precedence and i just don't know it feels like we've gone so far down the rabbit hole that i don't know if it's ever going to change like, I'm super worried for what games are in the future that, at this point, I want to go out and buy, like, a PS1, a PS2, an Xbox, a Super Nintendo, an N64, a GameCube, just so that I can play old games that I enjoyed and not have to worry about the future of what gaming is going to become. Now, this is a Halo channel, and Halo, by extension, is Microsoft, Xbox. We've heard rumors of letting Halo go to PlayStation. I don't know. We haven't seen it yet. I don't know how true that is. But I, if they're in money-making mode right now, I can absolutely see Microsoft allowing all their IPs that are, you know, based around the Xbox ecosystem to go to other platforms. That would not surprise me. And honestly, I don't know if Microsoft and Xbox are done closing studios. Like, I don't think today is just going to be the only day. It just feels like all the games that people really love and enjoy that aren't completely riddled with microtransactions and stuff like that are being phased out because they're not making enough money. But the thing is, is if, you know, people love those games, they're going to buy them, they're going to get good reviews and stuff, and it'll make more money. I don't know. It's just like, I, I have no idea what's going on. These are billion dollar, trillion dollar companies, billion dollar, multi-millionaire, you know, people in suits making these decisions, and it's just, it's ridiculous to me. At the end of the day, I understand that this is about business and profits, but it's just, what the heck is going on? I don't own an Xbox, I play on PC, I actually don't own any cons- Oh, well, I own a Nintendo Switch, but I don't own any of, like, PlayStation or Xboxes. My dog is barking, I apologize, she's upset because I'm upset. But I- I just don't know what the future of gaming is going to be like if this is, like, the foundation that they're laying, you know, for the future. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel, I read every comment. 
good, bad, ugly, you know, it is what it is at this point. If you want to stay up to date with Xbox and Halo stuff, make sure you sub to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. It's just a click of a button. I know a lot of people don't really sub on YouTube anymore, and that's kind of sad. Uh, they just see stuff and, like, they're recommended. But I would greatly appreciate it, and I will catch you all around the ring. Peace!